I live with my parents. I have my room. Do you, uh, is this okay for you and your family? Uh, sometimes you begin your life, you are still in a room, but you will end your life in a castle. Too many people like this. All of us like this. You begin your life small, but you begin working together, pleasing Allah, putting hand in hand, not doing it for other people, but for yourself. There are many good women, many good brothers who will marry somebody who is kuf, who is willing to work hard and start. That's what I mean, marry somebody like you. It is makru to marry somebody for the wrong reason. Sometimes somebody get married just because I want to be out of my house. Some women, maybe at home they are not happy. Father is too hard, mother is too hard, not enough room in the house. Oh, yeah, I just want to get married. Any man, any inshallah, I just want to get married. She doesn't think about the future. So she get married to somebody, she don't want to be his wife, but I just want to leave. Nah, that's makruh, not good to do. Mubah is you want to get married and Allah has said, choose. It's like buying watermelon. On the outside looks green. You might hit it, you think it sounds right, but you don't know until you open. That's when you will see. You don't know until you are actually get married. So it's not about, do I have to be sure before? It's, do I have the right signs that this is a good match? And a good match does not mean a perfect match. Nobody is perfect for anybody. I'm not perfect. How can I expect them to be perfect, right? So we want to learn about those signs. At Where for everything looks beautiful. MashaAllah. You come, you visit the house, no nikah yet. You come visit, MashaAllah. She sits and oh, every, your eyes, you have glasses, make everything beautiful. Second stage is honeymoon. You do nikah, honeymoon, everything sweet, MashaAllah. Third stage is called conflict. Conflict has to happen with everybody. In the middle of the night, after your honeymoon, one month, two months, one year go by, your wife, she's going to wake up, she's going to look at you like this and say, La ilaha illallah. This man, the rest of my life, Allah Allah. What's gonna happen? You're gonna look and say, Allahu Akbar. That's it, nobody. Oh, she do this, I don't like this, I don't. You begin to make a list in your mind, I don't like this. So because you make a list, she make a list. And now you say, I don't like this. She say, I don't like this. You begin, the plane begins to fall. Stage number four is called pull up. You have to learn how to fight with each other, but not break each other. Rasulullah he say, the woman, she is made from the rib of a man. If he tries to break the top, is going to break everything. You have to learn to enjoy life even when there is something different to you. You have to listen to her thought, understand her mentality. Maybe she is, you are going from here to here straight. Maybe she go a little bit this way, but she wants to go there. Let her go. This is the sunnah of the Prophet She is from Dila. She's going to go a little bit around, but she will get to where you want her to get. Leave her. So that's stage number four, learning how to fight with each other. Fighting is good. Fighting that is respectful, no bad words, no misbehavior, no hurting the heart, no hurting the body. Expressing yourself, but not trying to hurt the other person is good. Number five is pull up stage, is autopilot. You go up and down, always in autopilot, mashallah. Sinking up, mashallah. 